In this problem, we're examining a cost equation. We're given that Stella has a home business selling gourmet pizzas, and that the equation C equals 4P plus 25 models the relation between her weekly cost C in dollars and the number of pizzas P that she sells. With part A, we're asked to find Stella's cost for a week when she sells no pizzas. So part A, let's look at the equation we're given for cost, which is C equals 4P plus 25. Well, P is the number of pizzas, and we're asked to find cost when she sells no pizzas. So that would be when P equals 0. So this equals 4 times 0 plus 25 which equals $25. So her cost when she sells no pizzas <clears throat> in a week is $25. Now with part B, we're asked to find the cost for a week when she sells 15 pizzas. So this is P equals 15. So when P equals 15, we have C equals 4 times 15 plus 25 which equals 60 plus 25 which equals $85 so when she sells no pizzas Stella's weekly cost is $25 when she sells 15 pizzas her weekly cost is $85. <clears throat> now, with Part C, we're asked to interpret the slope and C-intercept of the equation. So what is the C-intercept? That's, that's when P equals 0. So the C-intercept is when P equals 0. Well, we already did that in Part A and it is the cost when Stella sells no pizzas. Now the slope, what is the slope? We're given C equals 4P plus 25. Well that's in the same form as Y equals MX plus B. So our slope is just M which in this case would be 4. So the slope 4 means that our output, so weekly cost, C, increases by $4 when the number of pizzas sold, or the number of pizzas made or sold, increases by 1. Or in other words, the cost for each pizza to make is four dollars. So the C-intercept is when P equals zero and is the cost when Stella sells no pizzas or twenty-five dollars which we found in part A and the slope four it's rise over run so the change in cost for every one unit of change in pizzas so it means that the cost increases by four dollars when the number of pizzas sold increases by 1. Now we're asked to graph the equation C equals 4P plus 25. We already determined that the C intercept is 25. So we'll make each one of these tick marks 5. So this is 10, then 20, then 25. <coughs> so C at P equals 0, we determined was 25, we put a, we put one mark there. Let's go ahead and make this a different color so we can differentiate. So this is the point 0, 25, our C-intercept. We already do have another point, uh, and that's when uh, P equals 15. So 5, 10, 15. When the number of pizzas sold is 15, we know that her cost is $85. So 
over to 15 and then up 85. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. And actually, let's go ahead and change our scale so this fits a little bit better with our horizontal axis. We'll keep our vertical axis at 5. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And we'll go ahead and put our C intercept there. But this way, let's go ahead and just make each one of the tick marks two pieces. So 2, 4, 6... Eight, ten, ten, twelve, and then we'll go out here fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. So we have our point fifteen eighty five. So we'll go here's ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen is right about here, and we'll go up to eighty five. So over to 15 which is right here and then up to 85 so 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 65 70 75 80 85 and then if we use one more point so let's say we use for part D this is this is our graph we'll graph one more point so let's say P equals 10 when P equals 10 we have C equals 4 times 10 plus 25, which equals 65. So we go over to 10 and up 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. And then as always, we draw a line through the three points. And this is a graph of our cost equation. Notice that we stop at zero because it doesn't make any sense to have negative pizzas. Uh, it also wouldn't make any sense to have a negative cost uh, unless they made you know, an error in their figures, but that wouldn't be actual cost. So again, with part A, we found the C-intercept, which is $25. With part B, we found how much it costs if Stella makes or sells 15 pizzas. And then with part C, the C-intercept is the cost when she sells no pizzas, or $25. And the slope 4 means that the weekly cost C increases by $4 when the number of pizzas sold increases by 1. So for every pizza sold, it costs her 4 more dollars. And then with part D, we graphed by using the C-intercept we found, the, the point we found for uh, 15 pizzas at $85, and then we, we went ahead and, and we solved for one more point so we could have three points to form the line.